Education, education, education. That's our big focus on DXB today. It uh, doesn't matter whatever age you are throughout life, you're always learning. And that's one of the big sort of focuses for us here today on the show. Because, yeah, a lot of people would think as soon as you finish school, you go straight to university. As soon as you finish university, you get straight into a placement, blah, 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 blah. That's what we were taught. But things are changing. Uh, things are changing. And as we are constantly learning, what about the role of a gap year in your education plan? Well, let's put that question to University Guidance Councillor for GEMS International School, Al Khail Tizmina Nambia, joining us live here on the sofa. Mina, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, I might have a little bit of skin in the game here on this particular subject. Uh, my daughter is currently on a gap year. I think last spotted in Melbourne, or at least I'm led to believe. Um, are you an advocate of a gap year or not? I absolutely am. I mean, it's phenomenal. I mean, your daughter, countless others. I just wish more students would have the opportunity to take gap years. Um, certain communities, um, you know, parents are not absolutely um, advocates of gap years, but gap years are incredibly insightful um, to students and they give them so many opportunities to rediscover themselves, rejuvenate, regenerate, re re everything in mm. terms of getting an idea of what they want to do in that year between finishing school and starting a gap year perhaps sorry starting university mm. perhaps it's also this is something that not very many people talk about but in a curriculum like ib which is so rigorous sometimes it's useful for students to just take a step back breathe regroup look at their options and then start mm. off you know to avoid burnout to avoid any kind of mental challenges mental health challenges that they may face a gap year is a, a stupendous move ahead i think i'm still on mine that's the problem <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well when i was at university like everybody was saying oh you're going to do a gap year and it was one of the things that i was steered away from doing you're going you're not going to want to go back into education once you've had a taste of the real world like don't do it but i mean what are the perks of you've touched on some of them what are the perks of like going on a gap year and and then wanting to come back to education I think our key word here is clarity. Mm -hmm. It gives you clarity. When you go on a gap year, you can, you can go climb a mountain, you can do some travel, you can immerse yourself in culture, you can go and do some volunteering work, whether you want to be a doctor um, or an engineer or do something in STEM, you can go and work for Doctors Without Borders or any kind of STEM volunteering activities. You come back with a renewed sense of clarity as in it could work both ways you could have clarity to yes this is exactly what i want to do when i go back to university or it might be um having interned in a law office for example you might think all oh, things that we see on netflix series are glamorized beyond description and that's probably not my path so i think clarity is our word of the day it gap years provide clarity mm. incredible yeah 100 percent. i remember actually when i took my first like a gap year bet uh, between high school and then university and i remember halfway through that i started to get formal because i started to see everybody going to university people are telling me what are you doing you're wasting time how can we like maximize that the gap year so we know we're actually being also in a way productive to transition back into learning I think first of all, it takes courage to take a gap year, to not be part of the crowd and not follow peer pressure and to be able to do your own thing and go, you know, spread your wings and fly in a different direction. Um, what can you do to make it productive? So many things you could probably, if travel is on your agenda, you could go to a different country, learn a language, be an au pair, a nanny. Um, one of my students decided to do that and went to Germany and in the process learned some German and taught English to the little ones. So a kind of a barter system, the possibilities are endless. Amazing. So Mina, would you say, I think I'm with you Tom, and I'm still on mine. Um, would you say there is specific rules into taking a gap year? So some people work, uh, but can you just do nothing at all? Um, <laughs> I like, think I'm taking a gap, <laughs> I'm taking a break. Final question, uh, you've talked about the decision making process for, 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 for the students themselves, for the youngsters, for the parents as well, coming on board, etc. What about um, universities though, so universities and college, are they sort of receptive of those that have been on gap years? 
I think they absolutely are. They appreciate students, again, who've shown courage and resilience in taking a different decision to put their education on hold. Um, that's a wonderful thing for universities, as well as the workplace. When students finish it, go back into the workplace, they know that this is someone who has been to the workplace, who knows the ins and outs, the professionalism, the way you conduct yourself. And I think it shows a great deal of maturity. Gap years make you supremely independent. Mm -hmm. So universities really consider that to be a feather in their cap. Good. Incredible. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Mina, and yeah, giving us you. some incredible insight there into gap years. We're going to ask for you to stay with us, and we're going to get to know Ola a little bit better because I believe Lane has DXP in 60. I do indeed, RM. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So you've done this before. You've been on the show before, right? I believe. I haven't. You actually. haven't? This is my first time. Oh, yeah. nice one. Uh -oh. Okay, <laughs> let's get down to it. Right, so it. 60 seconds, we're just going to be asking you questions all about you. We want to okay. know a little bit more about all right, the let's depths of all life. <laughs> okay, no so pressure. 60 seconds on this clock, starting three, two, one, go. Now, if you weren't working at Mind Valley, what would you be doing? I'll be a TV host. Oh, yes, <laughs> nice one. So what would you say is your motto in life and in work? I would say my motto in life is surrender and trust the process and in life as well. Just go with the flow and trust that everything that is happening to you is meant to be. That's lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Um, do you have a hidden gem in Dubai? A hidden gem would you Yes, like a hidden gem that is your place, your sanctuary, a hidden gem. Well, I don't live in Dubai, so I go back and forth. So I would say the desert, since I'm so far away from it. I was born in a place that was, uh, you know, that has a desert. So I would say the desert is my hidden gem. If you could choose one superpower, what Ooh. would it be? Uh, one superpower, it would be compassion. Lovely. Um, a top recommended course at Mind Valley. Conscious parenting, if you're a parent, because I think it's really important how we take care of our kids, how we make them grow, and how they become also compassionate and, you know, uh, very loving human beings, so that we have a better world. Wonderful. And just for my personal use, uh, what book are you reading at the moment? Right now, I'm reading Louise Hay's book. It's called uh, The Empowered Woman. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, thank you so much indeed for being thank our guest co-host. So really appreciate your time this uh, this evening. So thank you so much indeed for joining the team. Mina, thank you to you as well thank for uh, all your great advice. Uh, we ain't done just yet. More education coming your ways by means of music. We've got Ian waiting patiently in the wings. He's going to be playing us out shortly.